Hi, this is Liz with Egghead Fixers. Today we're going to be discussing how to replace or upgrade a hard drive. If you're looking for just how to install Windows 10, then skip ahead to mi minute two and a half. All right, so I'm taking out the battery. Uh, my computer is unplugged. Now I'm going to point out, I'm going to fast forward real quick and show you all the different spots I removed. Screws, don't forget under the DVD, that's a tricky spot. Most Dells are pretty easy nowadays. That whole bottom panel comes out on a generous amount of the models. I'm going to take my pry tool and now pry it off. You might find that you have a door as opposed to a whole bottom panel that removes off. As you can see, that bottom panel comes off really easy. If you find yours is different, go ahead and look up a disassembly video, then come back to the how to install Windows 10 portion of this video. Now I'm going to remove these two screws, because so, this is what's called my hard drive caddy. Now this size hard drive is called a 2.5. It has a SATA connection, if you're wondering what kind of hard drive it, this is. And this can be upgraded in size on a lot of models. It can also be changed to a solid state drive as long as it's the same size. As you can see, I had to unplug that little ribbon cable with that flap and then pull it out. Now there are usually four screws, as I'm pointing out now, that would hold in a hard drive. I've already removed them. And it comes out of the caddy. And then I have to take that little connector off which as you're going to see can be kind of a pain in the butt. And this is what is called a SATA connection. You can see that port right there. All right, now I'm going to bring my hard drive caddy back. It's always good, as you can see, I didn't take note of which way the hard drive goes. I had to look at it and figure it out, but it's good to kind of take a peek at that before you put it back just in case you forget. As you can see it inserts back in that little connector. Four more screws. And then you go ahead and plug it in. It's that simple. A lot of Dells nowadays are really easy to get into. A lot of them the bottom panel just comes off or you have that easy access door with just a screw or two it comes off. So it's pretty simple. If you have any questions on how to upgrade or anything like that leave them down below. And then I'm going to put the bottom panel back on, and then you would put all your screws back on. All right, now we're moving on to the next portion. Now, how to install Windows 10. As a shout out, if you don't have a Windows 10 bootable USB, we have a video linked down below on how to do this for free, to how to make your own. Okay, so take that USB, plug it into your Dell laptop or computer desktop. Hit power, and then tap on F12 repeatedly right away. That's right, F12. All right, now we're at the boot screen. You're gonna hit the down button, select UEF SanDisk, and hit enter. So you can see a lot of that kind of thing, and then you're gonna get to this purple screen like so. At this point, you're gonna take your mouse, and you're gonna hit the next button. You're gonna hit install now. You can see a lot of stuff like this. Setup is starting, you'll have to wait, it's okay. Then you're gonna, I accept the license and terms. You're going to hit next, then hit custom, then go ahead and delete all these partitions, select one, hit delete. Sometimes there's a lot, don't worry. Go ahead and just delete them all. And then when it says unallocated space, like so, then you can hit next and it will start to install. As a shout out, if you run into any snags, your installation for any way, reason doesn't work, we have a video on how to troubleshoot installation problems. Okay, so I fast forwarded to the end screen. Go ahead and hit restart now. You're going to get a bunch of these starting services, getting device ready, stuff like that. But once again, that video link for if you have any problems with it not completing, not working properly, that's in the description down below. Okay, so this means my installation is done after all that waiting time. You're going to hit yes. And then you're going to select your keyboard. I'm going to skip because I don't need a second keyboard. So now we're just going through different options. This is where you connect to a network. I'm not going to bother, but if you wanted to, you would go ahead, select your network, hit connect, then type in your password. I'm going to write, I don't have internet. That way I'm not stuck putting, attaching my Microsoft account. 
this is a behind the scenes way of doing it behind back doorway I mean hit continue with limited setup and then boom I don't need to attach a Microsoft email account then I can just name my PC whatever I want like a normal person and hit next I type in Dell next I'm not going to do a password because I'm going to sell this computer uh, do more I'm just going to hit no I am going to get help from the digital. I'm going to hit accept digital assistant and then accept once again because I'm okay with all these privacy settings and then I am done. So there's going to be some lag time in between some of these things but you're okay. Anyway that's how you install Solid State Drive and Windows 10. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. But from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.